Child care is becoming less of an issue with some families. That's because a growing number of couples are choosing to have one spouse stay at home with the kids. Channel 3's Carrie Connolly talked to some who've made the choice to be stay at home moms. The women's movement made staying at home with the kids unpopular. But today, many of those same women are trading in their hard earned careers to be full time moms. Helen Turco, a mother of three, used to be an executive. That is until two year old Sam was born. Nice. My decision to leave work was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be a have a great, a brilliant career and raise a family. But I think I evolved, I think I grew up and I realized that it was much more important for me personally uh -oh. to raise my son. Helen is not alone. According to a national survey, 27% of working moms choose to stay at home. Mary Ellen Rogers made that choice 11 years ago. Today, she helps other women make the transition, a change she says most women are not prepared for. You don't have an outlet for your creativity, um, for your productivity. And one thing that we always try to advise women to do who are leaving the workforce is to find a network, um, whether that be in a volunteer opportunity, a consulting opportunity on a part-time basis, something that they can get out and feel like a competent adult. For Helen, the transition was hard, but having the support of other women helped. I have a number of female friends who have done the same thing I have, and we support each other, we talk to each other, and we fill in those intellectual gaps. Experts say you don't have to give up your identity to embrace motherhood, but you do need to be prepared. I'm Carrie Connolly, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.